welcome back to plans on planning here we are in my social planner um and this week for this planner series we're going to be doing things just a tad bit different so um you know every week has something different that it brings um with the to-dos with the errands and all that good stuff but also some week in your planners you don't really necessarily have the inspiration to go all out and get all super creative and, you know, just do a whole bunch of stuff in them. And some weeks you kind of want to have like those lazy weeks where you're just having a couple of stickers and just a little bit of washi, just a little something. And then truthfully, there are some weeks that you don't want to do anything and you want to have justice and write in what you have to do, Um, either because you know, you've had a lot going on the prior week, so you just don't have the energy, or truthfully, you don't have the creativity to do it, and that's 100% fine, because it's your planner, and you can do absolutely positively whatever you want with it, so this week in this planner series, I'm just going to be doing, um, let's call them lazy days, uh, planner spreads, where I'm only going to use a couple of stickers, and a little bit of washi, you know, just to frame things out, and that's it. But so you can see that it still looks good and it may not be the -the over-the-top creativity that you normally do, but it gives you what you need. So that's what we're going to be doing in this planner series for this week. So let's get started. Um, The basics are still the same. We're going to add our washi and to do that, we're going to take out our week of... And the washi that I'm using for this planner is some pinks. Um, Like I said, we're not necessarily going over the top and getting all wild and crazy with it. We're just keeping it really simple. And I wanted to do that with my washi as well. I have um, rose decorations in here and then just a little pink uh, rose gold foiling going on to match because it has that pink color to it. I'm looking at the size of my washi and it doesn't necessarily take up the whole area so what I'm going to do is put it more so towards the middle but you know what I'm actually going to get rid of this line here and I'm going to put it just above the Monday because like I said we're going all out for something different So I got it pressed down and I guess it doesn't fit the whole area so I'm gonna gracious leave the top white which is really different from what we normally do But we're being totally different today. And that's fine, truthfully. So there we go. And I'm going just above my Friday as well. I'm going across just to take out any bumps and lumps. And what I'm going to do is I see that my washi is a nice size. So I'm actually going to put my smaller washi just above it. And I'm going to use the top of the page as my guide. Um, It does overlap just a tad, but nothing that's really a cause for fret, so to speak. There we go. Bam. 
and then I'm just going to cut the edges off. And then I'm going to frame out my week. So look at that. It's something very different. But like I said, we're doing a lot of things different this week. We're not going too crazy, too over the top. We're just keeping it really relaxed, really chill. Not doing too much. Just to show that it's okay. Like every week doesn't need to be over the top, themed out, sticker crazy. We can, it's our planners. We can do absolutely positively whatever we want with them. And this week, we're going to keep it low-key. Now for the bottom, I am going to go all the way across. And I'm going to use the bottom of the page just as my guide. There we go. And on to the next side. Okay, so we're keeping it really simple. And I'm using the dotted line as actually my guide in this mm -hmm. one. And here we are going across the whole bottom. Oh gosh, it folded on itself. Alright. Alright, so there we go for our washi. And it actually turned out really, really cute with the ombre of colors on our washi we use to border out our days for the week. Um, I do have a couple of stickers that I wanna put on. This is from the Zany palette. Um, and these are actually school themed stickers. Granted, I don't have school and I'm not going to school, but I just really love the way they look. They're really cute um, and it's my planner, so I basically do what I want. So, and I basically love them because of what they say. I'm doing this for me and you can. And then we have the different backpack and globe ones. So the you can is going to be my positive sticker that I put up here. And I'm doing this for me is going to go right in this area. Um, I'm going to use a backpack sticker over here on my Thursday. And I'm going to put it right on the bottom of the page, which actually gives me just enough space to actually see Thursday. And then I want to put one of these globe stickers down. Actually, I think I want to put them... Uh, it takes up too much space for the Friday. I'm either going to have the Friday and lose the Saturday. Or actually we can put it right under Sunday. Which works out perfectly fine for me as well. So there are just a couple of stickers. And then I have these also from the Zany palette. Which I'm going to do my to-dos and todays and reminders. Those type of things. 
and this week I'm putting them right by the actual day of the week. Ooh, put that one down crooked. Now, normally I put them like on a slant or, you know, in a corner, something wild and crazy like that. But today, like I said, we're just keeping it simple. Um, this one I'm going to put here. And last but not least, now I'm just going to write to do and today and a black marker. There we go. And there we have it. Something super simple that gets us through the week when we actually don't have that burst of creativity, but we still want to make our planners look like something. That's what this week is focused on. When you you had such a long previous week that you're like totally burnt out, but you don't want to leave your planner super plain, super boring, and you just want to add a little bit of pizzazz to it, here we go. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything of that nature, you can go ahead and hit me in the comments. I also have the link to all of my stickers from the Zany palette in the comments as well, as long, along with a nice little discount code for you guys to use. So feel free to use that and get you a little couple of dollars off of your orders. Um, you can email me with any questions, concerns. I'm definitely checking my email on a constant basis. And you can also follow me on social media and slide in my DMs and let me know that, hey, I saw your video. Uh, what about this? What about that? Whatever the case may be. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful time and I will catch you on the flip.